Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to talk a little louder for the recording because my camera is starting to go a little bit off. But anyway, welcome back to Health Talk. This series is basically a sequel series of Health Wolf, but I am not going to be producing new episodes of Health Wolf in favor of this series. So welcome back. This episode, we're going to be talking about nutrition. That's the episode title. Nutritional health. So there are six, there's a food guide pyramid that you can follow. There's fruits, veggies, grains, meat, dairy, and sweets. Let's talk about some of them. So obviously at the top we got sweets and fats and oils. Those are at the top because those are the least, those are the, those are the worst things that should be in your daily diet. Those could be eaten more like sporadically. Like there's, there's stuff that you should not eat every day. There's like cookies. Like for, if you're a kid, like kindergarten or so, you probably think that cookies are healthy, right? Nope, they're not. They contain lots and lots and lots of sugar. It's like chocolate milk. Don't just because it's in the grain. That's just because chocolate milk's in the dairy section doesn't mean that it's healthy, right? It's just to make milk taste good. Like candy, you should candy should not be part of your daily diet because candy, like I said, has sweet is sweet. We got meat. Unless you're vegan, which the vegan teacher don't diss me on this because this is not rec this is not required. You don't have to eat meat, guys. But there's a group called meat and proteins. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say proteins for this because meat's not really gonna be a requirement. You got stuff like eggs. You got eggs. You got beans. You got nuts. Like protein. You gotta have that protein in your diet. Protein is extremely healthy. Then if you're not vegan, definitely put in a little hamburger or steak or ribs into that part. Then we got dairy. You got ice cream, which is in the sweet section as well. You got ice cream, you got milk, regular milk, you got chocolate, you got strawberry. Except the last two, latter two are just flavors. Then you got like um, whipped cream, that's dairy, right? Just so you know, dairy always goes by the expression date. For chips, like if you have chips, stuff like, stuff that's not dairy, like chips can go like a long time after the expiration date. Then you got veggies, like you gotta have carrots, spinach. Honestly, I can't really have carrots. My stomach will not digest them. I I can I can like eat them. I can, like I could like chew them. My brain would say eat the carrots, but my stomach won't, because within like twenty minutes I would st I would go straight to the toilet and you know it comes out of me, except through the mouth. I'm not gonna. It's called vomiting, yeah. But there's also like you can have cauliflower. Broccoli. Honestly, I love greens. I eat. A, I actually eat a lot of greens. There's spinach. There's broccoli. I don't eat celery. I don't really eat celery. Then we got fruit. So yeah, I eat a lot of fruit. There's a lot of fruit there. There's there's apples, bananas, like apples and bananas. There's a song for it. I can't really sing because I don't know the songs. Then we got like um, strawberries, and then we got a little watermelon. Cause you know the song Harry Styles, watermelon sugar high, watermelon sugar high. Except I can't sing the whole song because I don't want to get copyrighted. Yep, there's an entire song called Watermelon Sugar. Harry Styles is one of his greatest hits so far. I've listened to it along with most of the other tracks on his album Fine Line. Then for fruit, we also got there's more fruit you could try. There's also like pumpkins. You know pumpkins. Pumpkins is more for October. Not in season for others. We got raspberries, and I'm not talking to, and I'm talking about like the fruit raspberries. Then we got grains, which is at the bottom, which is what you eat most of. Unless you're gluten free, then you can't eat them. There's a lot of grains. There's, there's stuff like um beans. No, not beans. I mean, you know, like bread. There's bread. There's cereal and and noodles. Don't forget noodles, such as pasta, and guys, ramen noodles. If you guys remember that oddly sauce my trend ramen noodles, be sure to it's basically like a trend where you fix things with food, like ramen, but not with not just with ramen, you can fix it with toothpaste and pretty much anything with food. And guess what guys? If you guys really want to know more of that, it's gonna be in a future episode of my new variety show The Trend. Coming soon. I'm not releasing it yet, but I'm gonna get I'm telling you guys about it. Alright, so that's supposed to all of the food guy pyramid. And don't forget you guys got um there's also some nutrients like vitamins, minerals.
don't eat those all the time. We got milk. I mean, we got water. Definitely drink a lot of water. Eight glasses a day. I got a water bottle with me right now. Except I don't know where it is right now. But then you got like, um, then you got, um, cholesterol, but you shouldn't do a lot of that. All right. But anyway, guys, that's all for tape pictures video. If you guys want me to do more, I'll talk. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm not going to do all the... The nutrition because i'm gonna start doing i'm gonna individualize some of the health stuff for health talk and guess what guys i'll talk renewed for season two anyway guys that's all the type guys of this video i am michael stall content you will enjoy